I'm going to create uh, some jewelry here, a necklace that's going to wrap around this object and then come over here and hang off this shelf. I'm going to show you a very uh, easy way to do that. We're going to need three things. We're going to need a path that I want these uh, the beads of the necklace to follow. All right, so we're going to use a curved path. We're going to need a point that I'm going to get from a plane. All right, I'm going to merge the points together, and that point is going to have vertices along the path. And then we're going to need our actual bead or object that we want to um, array along the necklace. So I'll show you how we're going to do this. I've got my 3D cursor right here where I want to start. And I'm going to go Shift A, Curve, Path. And I'm going to scale this down. And I'm going to move it so that the final point is roughly where my 3D cursor is. Okay, so there's the first thing. That's my NURBS path. Shift A, Mesh Plane. I'm going to go into edit mode, M, merge and center. So I now have a point right there. Okay. With that point selected, I'm going to go into the modifiers and choose array. I'm going to change this to fit curve, uncheck relative offset, turn on constant offset, and choose the nerves path as the curve. I'm going to go with the wireframe. And I'm going to start dialing this back. And I may have to come uh, quite a ways. There they are. Okay. So just you have to be a little gentle here. I'm going to hold shift. Go a little bit slower. You can see those vertices. These points along the curve. Go back into object mode. You can see them better there. Shift A mesh. UV sphere that's going to represent my bead. I'm going to use 16 and 8. I'm going to edit mode and scale it down. So let's say that was the size of the bead I wanted to use. I'm just going to shade smooth. Okay, so this is what I have. I'm going to hide the NURBS path. I'm going to hide that as well for the moment. I'm going to select my sphere, my bead, and I'm also going to select the points. And I'm going to go Control P, parent, set parent to object. So I'm setting the, the beads to the points as well. I'm going to come over here, come down instant, choose vertices, and you can see. I've got my points there. Now in the array, I can adjust how close I want these beads. All right, let's start with that. The other thing that I need is I want them to follow the path. So let's choose the path. And let's uh, so let's uh, grab this point, just pull it out a bit longer. You can see that my points are kind of getting longer. If I move this, however, the points are not, my beads are not following the path yet. So let's select beads, which are parented to those points, and add a curve modifier, and as a curve object, choose that. And we are ready to go. All right, so let's see here. I want to be on my NURBS path. And I said something about winding this around, didn't I? So I'm just going to press G. I can get rid of that if I want to. And press E to extrude. these and this is dynamically changing the number of my beads every time so let's go alt h and bring back that there we go let's select the nerves path i'm going to look from here actually here 
Uh, there it is. I'll look in wireframe so I can see. Just have to hang. Start with that and see where we're at. Okay, I'm going to take all of these. Move them up a little bit. Adjust it a little bit, so I don't have to do, show the you know a class bonded or anything like that. I don't think I'm gonna bother with that. I don't know how realistic that looks. Now, um, yeah, well, let's bring back everything else. Put it on there. There we go. Okay. It's been instanced, so it hasn't increased my uh, poly count. And there they are. Um, I can still you know, modify this anytime I want to, just by taking the nerves path moving them around come around a couple times there we go I'll do a few of these uh, up here and maybe we'll put a couple on the floor or maybe in the dish snaking over uh, kind of thing but there's a quick easy way that you can array uh, anything I mean people use it for making roads and train tracks obviously and jewelry uh, and you can just make it follow follow a path and you can spend more time uh, to get it the way that you want it to be uh, the one th other thing that I should say is likely what I would do now is once I'm I'm done with this is I would apply on my points I would apply those and then I take this nerves path increase the size just a little bit so I get like a string like structure going through it. Okay. And I'm not going to worry about the resolution. So I would take that and then I would convert that to a mesh. And on that, probably just do something like, uh, I don't know, necklace string I'm going to do a dark color and uh, bring the roughness down it's not going to be very visible at all but there it is Okay, so there we go. Cool.